Okay, hello everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get um, the GUI uh, desktop, uh, particularly the Mate desktop for Ubuntu with uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux 2. So um, let me just quickly demonstrate it actually. So here I have uh, my Ubuntu window running and, and I'm going to do mate session and it's going to start in Mate desktop. I believe I had done this right the way I wanted. Okay, so it's on multi-window. I don't want it in multi-window. Um, as you see, when I do it in multi-window, it's going to open this in a Windows uh, window. If I had just done um, this over here and I had set it to single window mode, yes, it's going to close out of Ubuntu. So I'll open Ubuntu again. You know, it really only tags it. And then I'll open it again. Do mate session. Okay, so now I have it running the way I want in a single window, and I can do things like open Firefox. You know, now I'm saying I can go ahead and close Firefox. Um, I can open up the terminal, you know, stuff like that. Um, so, yes, the I'm using the Vitae desktop on um, Windows without VirtualBox or anything, just using um, applications from the Microsoft Store and the uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux platform version 2. So I'm just going to close this. I do not need this open anymore. Let's close this again. Okay, so um, what you're going to want to do is go to the Microsoft Store, and there are different versions of Linux you can use. I mean, you can use uh, Debian if you want. Here, you can use uh, OpenSUSE. Um, but in this case, it's obviously geared towards Ubuntu with the Mate desktop. So if you go to um, the Microsoft Store and you type in Ubuntu, you're going to see uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu 20, and Ubuntu 18. I don't believe it matters which version you use. However, I am using Ubuntu 20 for this version. And when you search Ubuntu, you should also see this program over here. GWSL, with a little picture, it's two orange windows, and it says X server. You want to download that as well. These are the only applications you need in order to... Uh, get the GUI benefits of the Windows uh, Subsystem for Linux uh, platform version 2. So download both of these and you should see a DWSL show up in your um, system tray. Uh, go to GWSL Distro Tools and uh, you're going to want to check off these two options right here. Display-Audio Auto Exporting and LibGL Indirect. Um, you don't have to configure anything else. At that point you're done. I would recommend then right clicking this icon for the GWSL uh, going to X over profiles and then doing single window mode. That's how I like to do it. But again, at this point, you are now finished. Um, so this is not necessarily a tutorial on how to get a Windows subsystem for Linux version 2. You do need that, but there are better videos out there. And if need be, I can make one. But the point of this video was a quick and easy digestible version of how to um, get it done and get the Mate desktop on Ubuntu with uh, Windows subsystem for Linux 2. Um, you know, supposing you already have the subsystem for Linux uh version 2 set up. So what you want to do is I had a reference uh, for all of this. It wasn't very great. And uh, also just real quick, if you do need help on the Windows Office for Linux version 2, um, this is the website to go ahead and do it. Other tutorials on YouTube will take you to this website. Um, if you want to get it preloaded, just go to aka.ms slash WSL2. And as you'll see, it took me exactly to the same website. But again, this WordPress um, page is what I referenced for it, and it wasn't very good. Um, now, this one tells you to download X server. You do not have to do that. Again, just download GWSL from the Microsoft Store, and then it's telling you how to install the Mate desktop. But you also see there's a bunch of other random things you just you don't have to do. Um, Dpackage, reconfigure Dbus and service, you don't have to do that. Remove error report, you don't have to do that. Um, config display, again, you don't have to do that. Launch, X launch, you don't have to do that. And you can use remote desktop protocol. So Pokemon is what RDP stands for. Again, you don't have to do that. Just download Ubuntu from the Microsoft Store, download GWSL from the Microsoft Store, and then go ahead and open it. So I use the uh, Windows Terminal application also from the Microsoft Store to open my Ubuntu. However, you can also just uh, launch the Ubuntu program. I really hope this wasn't... Oh, man, this might have been the wrong thing. Um, yeah, this is a virtual box. I don't want to open virtual box. It's just... Uh, that's a little flub up right there. You can just open the um, Ubuntu version that you downloaded from Microsoft Store like this. But um, again, I'm not going to do that. I like using the Windows terminal. That's just how I do it. I'm always in there. So then again, you know, like this um, WordPress shows you, 
Uh, you want to go ahead and do sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. These are th this part is accurate. You do want to do these commands, and then you want to do apt. Well, you want to do sudo apt install ubuntu dash mate dash desktop. But that's it. Do not do this no installs recommend uh, thing. You don't have to do that. Just type the sudo apt install ubuntu mate desktop. And again, once that is done, uh, ensure that you have GDOSL running. Um, you know, and if you want to run the desktop, I'd recommend you go ahead and configure it with a right click so that it's on single uh, window mode. But then at that point, uh, you know, just type mate dash session. It's going to give you all these weird things in the terminal. And then if you go over to GWSL, oh look, I have, uh, you know, Ubuntu mate uh, running. So, I don't know if I like this wallpaper more. Uh, I guess I'll use this wallpaper, sure. But yeah, so, again, then I want to close it. I don't need this running anymore. This part is important. This part is very important, actually. Do not click off the video just yet, because it is not as simple as just closing the Ubuntu terminal. So I'm going to close the X server. I don't need it running anymore. I'm going to hit exit here. And what I'm going to notice, though, is that if I go to control, if I go to the task manager, I'm going to have this program that wasn't here before called VMM using a lot of RAM. Right? You cannot close VMM from the task manager. It's going to tell you cannot be completed, access is denied. What you need to do in order uh, to close it is run PowerShell as an administrator. This is also how you check if you have WSL2. Do WSL dash L dash V. It's going to tell you that your version of Linux is still running, even though I had closed it. The terminal application is not running anymore. What you want to do is WSL dash dash shut down. Now it is closed. If I go to the task manager, VMM is no longer here using up a lot of my RAM. Likewise, if I type in WSL WSL L V, it tells me the version of Linux that I have, and it says that it's stopped. That's what I want. Again, version 2. So if you don't have uh, WSL uh, version 2, don't fret. There's other tutorials out there, but I'm going to give you a quick... Um, a little quick jump guide into it right now. It's kind of weird. It's at the end of the video, and I also at some point in the middle of the video mentioned the aka.ms-wsl2 website. But um, so what you want to do is type in Windows Features or Optional Features. Okay, I guess you can't access it from this menu. Okay, so go to your Start menu and type in Optional Features, and you're going to want to make sure that you have two things checked off. Previously, for Windows uh, Substance for Linux version 1, you need to do one thing checked off. Now, you need two. It is Windows Substance for Linux and... Where is it? Virtual Machine Platform. Once you have those, then you're good to start getting working with WSL2. It's not set up yet, but these are two prerequisite actions you need to complete.